Good afternoon. How to maximize appearance in professional contexts. Um, I think effective mannerisms relate to the subject that you're presenting. Right? Humor probably isn't appropriate for a formal research presentation. Likewise, a motivational speech probably shouldn't be done monotone. Uh, so I think the subject will dictate the mannerism for me and how I approach it. Uh, appropriate vocal behavior comes with practice. You know, some people are naturally quiet. Some people are naturally loud. But everyone needs to find that appropriate medium and utilize it. Um, the same could be said about inflection and strategic pauses. These come from practice and repetition. Saying the same phrase over and over again with different inflections and different pauses, different volume, can give it entirely new meanings each time. So you really have to practice and find it the right way. Um, for me, it's really just saying the phrase over and over again until I find, you know, the right way to, to say it, to convey what I mean. Uh, appropriate nonverbal skills are what give your words their power. Um, if you ever read a speech manuscript and then listen to the actual presentation, you can kind of see how the message varies, something that might not have seemed important because of how the presenter gave it really adds meaning to it. So a good speaker will draw out everything from your speech and make it important, pertinent, and then they'll push aside the stuff that they don't consider very important. Um, likewise, a, a bad speaker can make something that's brilliantly written just seem awful, forgettable, or emphasize all the wrong things, and really leave the audience leaving kind of confused. Um... <laughs> I think personal appearance, hand gestures, vocal patterns, they're all aids to your words. Use them effectively or you're better off just writing a paper and letting someone read it, right? Uh, thanks for your time. Have a good day.